just as science has in the past not been able to explain things like thunder and lightning and the tides and the moon and the sun, uh, science at this point does not have an adequate explanation. It does have a basis for some theories. Uh, this is, of course, a response, another, yet another response to Rogue Combatant's question, uh, can science explain you? And uh, your premise, or actually maybe I should, uh, uh, your question is, can science ever adequately explain you, or does even science have its limits? And here is my issue with that. Uh, it, it does have its limits. Uh, I, I believe there's some things that we don't understand and we might not ever. I'm having a little hard time getting my head around not ever understanding it. There are some things in science that, uh, of course, once you measure something, you've actually altered it. So you wouldn't you could make conjecture on what science or what something would do or wouldn't do if you hadn't measured it or looked at it, uh, but that would again be conjecture you wouldn't know for certain. But the alternative is what? Science being able to explain everything at some point, eventually, uh, science, science being able being able to explain almost everything, uh, if we stick at it long enough and get uh, adequate technology, or magic? See, I'm having a little trouble with this. Uh, if it exists, if it can be seen, measured, studied, weighed, you know, all the scientific methods observed, then I think it will eventually have a scientific ex explanation, even though we don't have one now. But the other alternative to science, it, there isn't one. So if something is like us, something physical, our brain, our personality, who we are, uh, it happened. You are you. I am me. We exist physically. We can be measured. Not adequately enough at this point. Uh, we can be observed. All the scientific things, even though we don't have an explanation, yet, uh, I think at some point we will have one. Because the other answer would be it just magically came to being and we could never understand it. And I just don't accept that. I don't accept it from religion. I don't accept it from science. Or I don't accept it from naysayers that say, oh, it's just so complicated, we will never understand it. And here's the theory, or my, my quote that I uh, use on a lot of my clients when they ask a similar question about knowing the body and, and how everything works and life extension, because that's a big thing with me, um, and health, that the human body is not infinitely complicated and we are continuously learning so as long as there is an end to what we can know about the human body we will eventually know it even though it may take a long long time so given enough time and enough effort and desire because uh, you actually have to want to know it and believe that it is knowable otherwise you just kind of go Pff. but we've never done that either uh, but Again, as long as it's not infinitely complex, it's not getting more and more complicated as it goes, which we're not, we're evolving a little bit here and there, uh, but at some point, because our learning curve continues and the human body has a finite amount of information, we'll eventually know everything there is to know. It's what we do with that that I have no idea. So, uh, great question, uh, and uh, I, I could go on for hours on this, but uh, I think I'll break it up into little tiny pieces as you ask them.